Hello everybody, we are here today in Westchester, Ohio. Uh, I am just alone today in this video because Candy is actually getting her nails done. And so while we're here, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna stop at this outdoor mall here uh, near where she's getting her nails done uh, because this place is kind of a cool place to kind of want to take a look around. So I've been here before. None of you probably have been or very few of you have probably been here before, but I do know that there is a cupcake place around the corner here that has, I think, my favorite cupcake I've ever eaten outside of maybe the own, my own cupcakes that I make myself. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try it because I'm anxious. I want you to see what I think is the best cupcake in America and what I compare all Disney and Universal and theme park cupcakes and treats to, I compare it to this cupcake and my own cupcakes, but this particular cupcake that I can buy somewhere. Uh, so you know from now on, when I say I feel like Disney doesn't have the greatest cupcakes in the world, you'll know what I'm comparing it to. So let's just take a little walk around here uh, and check out this really cool outdoor mall, this outdoor space here, uh, which I feel like you didn't, maybe wouldn't think that you'd find in Westchester, uh, but it's kind of a cool place, so let's go. So as I said, we are at this outdoor mall. There is actually an indoor mall section uh, right behind me and it has two different floors. It's got like a first floor and a second floor uh, where there's a bunch of stores. It's kind of like more of a traditional shopping center. Uh, but I really like the outdoor section of this mall uh, because it just, it, I mean, it's such a beautiful day out right now. There's just people kind of walking in the park. The grass looks great too. I mean, man, that grass looks really nice. Uh, just kind of people walking around. They've also got like ping pong right here. Like check this out. They have like these little ping pong tables here under this uh, like pergola, I, I don't know, overhang wood thing. Um, is that what I call it, pergola? I don't know. Um, and it's just kind of a cool place to just hang out. So I kind of want to just do a little walk around, take a look at some stuff, um, and show you why I kind of like, I kind of dig this area. I head down this direction and see what all they got down here. Um, I mean, I see Pandora, like a jewelry store, Eddie Bauer, they got Pink, Victoria's Secret. Ooh, yeah, Bath and Body Works, that's right. I remember there was a Bath and Body Works over here. Mm, I don't know, I'm a sucker for Bath and Body Works. I am a big fan of scent-based uh, things. I love scents, especially like fruity food smells. I'm not a big fan of like florals um, or like tree smells I'm not a, I'm not a fan at all of any kind of like aftershave smells cologne smells perfumes not a big fan but anything that's like food or fruit that's my jam and Bath and Body Works has a ton of stuff they have a macaroon place here um, which is supposedly I mean I don't know actually I actually have no idea um, I'm wondering if it's any good I've never had it um, and I'm not a fan of macarons, so I'm curious, does anybody like, uh, that's watching this video, do you like macarons? Are you a huge fan? Uh, what is it about them that you like? I feel like they're like really expensive for like this small little tiny busted cookie, and I just don't really think they're good. Hey, they have a Lush. Um, I'm not a fan, not a fan of macarons, so I don't know what everybody else thinks of them, but they have one there that maybe is good uh they also have this look there's a big movie theater here it's like luxury theater i wonder if you can get food in there it's like a, oh yeah cine bistro yeah that's right cine bistro so you can, there's actually one of those like sit down you can eat while you're watching a movie places i finally arrived at molly's here right behind me it's on the corner 
Um, and this is a cupcake place. That's pretty much all they have here is cupcakes. They have a couple other things, but it's really about the cupcakes. Um, they have lots of different varieties. Uh, they have cupcakes that are don't need to be refrigerated, like non-refrigerated cupcakes. And then they have cupcakes that need to be refrigerated. So if you, if, they will tell you usually, like, if you get one of the refrigerated ones, that you need to get it in the fridge within, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not good for the cupcake. Um, but I want to go in here and check it out. Again, they have my favorite cupcake here when it comes to like buying a cupcake somewhere off the shelf everything in here I, I have tried many of the cupcakes they're all fantastic um, there it's it's just like a really cool I love the vibe and the aesthetic of the place I just think it's really cool with the chalkboards um, their tag is Molly's cupcakes Cincy with a Y at the end um, so check them out they are a fantastic place so let's head on in I want to get a cupcake I want to try it out uh, I don't want to show you the dream cupcake that I love. It's so delicious. Okay, yes, I have the package. I could not be more pumped. And man, it is such a nice day out here. I mean, it is beautiful out. It's nice and warm. It's not too hot. There's not a lot of humidity, a little bit of a breeze coming across. I get this fountain in the background and I have a cupcake. I mean, I don't know if it gets much better than what's happening right now. But I picked up this cupcake. It's only $4 for the cupcake. So it's already cheaper than any Disney cupcake or Universal treat. I mean, it is not that expensive. It's 4 bucks, which I think in Cincinnati, maybe $4 for a cupcake. Maybe it feels a little heavy. But for me, I'm used to paying 5 6 $7 for a cupcake. So for me, 4 bucks for this cupcake is a steal. So let me tell you all about this little beauty. Check it out. Oh, oh man, look at that lit beauty I mean you can just look at this cupcake and you immediately like your mouth probably is already watering about how delicious this cupcake probably is um, now I'll be I'll be honest I get a lot of really pretty finely beautifully decorated cupcakes at Disney and then after I take my first bite disappointment immediately sets in this will not be the same one of the cool things that I love about Molly's Cupcakes is pretty much all their cupcakes, if not all. I think most all of their cupcakes has something in the middle, something right in the center there. It's a little surprise that maybe you're not expecting. Uh, so like maybe like a strawberry shortcake cupcake and it'll have some sort of like delicious strawberry uh, whatever. What's it? Not jam. What that? Candy gets mad every time I say the word jam. She's like, jam? Who says jam? Um, but some sort of like coulis. Ooh, that sounds that sounds fancier. Like a strawberry coulis. I don't know. Any, anyway, there will be something delicious on the inside. This is the Cookie Monster Cupcake. Cookie Monster. Cookie, 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 cookie. Yum. And it is a, I think like a sort of like a vanilla-ishy, I don't know, flavored cupcake. Um, and then it's got this like delicious sort of like cookies and cream almost like buttercream icing on top. It's got a little mini chocolate chip cookie on there and some chocolate chips. But wait till you see the surprise on the inside which makes this all the better. Now I did not get a knife or a fork so it's just going to have to be what it is going to have to be. I'm just going to take the little cookie off the top here. Look at that. Oh, I'm already ready to sing. I'm just going to. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, even that little cookie on top was like a top-level Gideon's chocolate chip cookie. Just right on top as like a garnish. And there was already a bustin' chocolate chip cookie on top. Now here we go. Let's go into the main course here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip into it. Oh my gosh. I don't know why we don't have these in Florida. Well, I can't wait. I mean, I need a minute. Mm. I just need a minute. Oh. Mm. I gotta recover. I gotta recover. Come on, soak it in. Soak it in. Mm. I mean, mm. 
I mean, that is the best. That That is the cupcake of dreams right there. I'm telling you. I'm going to show you the inside now. Check this out. You see that in there? You know what that is? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, yeah. There's a giant, massive, delicious ball of edible chocolate chip cookie dough in the middle of this cupcake. I mean, come on, what? Like, how it doesn't get better than that. You get, I mean, people are going out there and just buying edible cookie dough nowadays for five or six, seven, eight bucks for a little thing of edible cookie dough. This cupcake has it baked in. So not only am I getting the edible cookie dough, I'm also getting the cupcake and I'm getting the cream on top and a little bit of little chocolate chips on the top and then a Boston chocolate chip cookie on top of that for four bucks. I mean, come on, right? I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is the cupcake to compare all cupcakes to. This one right here. Molly's Cupcakes in Cincinnati. Now, I was actually talking to the person that was working inside, and she told me Molly's Cupcakes actually originated in Chicago. I was like, Chicago? I didn't know that. I thought this was just a local joint. And she said, no, it was in Chicago, and then that person in Chicago ended up doing a few franchises, um, and so they opened one here in Cincinnati, and I think she said there might also be one in Nashville, I believe, in that um, giant mall at the right there with you. If you've ever been to the Grand Ole Opry, um, it's in kind of, the Grand Ole Opry is weirdly in like this like parking lot. And then in that giant parking lot is the mall, like this giant, I don't know, Opryland mall. I forget what it's called, but it's like a gigantic mall, basically almost touching the Grand Ole Opry. Um, but there's a Molly's Cupcakes there, I, I believe is what she said. So there's actually a few of these. I'm curious if anybody's actually tried this before. Um, I did check to see if there was one in my hometown or in Orlando. There was not, unfortunately. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Besides, I'm going to eat the rest of this cupcake. I'm not going to subject you to watching me eat the whole cupcake. Um, but I am going to subject you to check out their social media pages and their website. Um, again, Molly's Cupcakes. Molly's, plural. Cupcakes, plural. Um, Cincy is this particular location. Cincy with a Y. So C-I-N-C-Y. Um, you got to check them out. They do, unfortunately, they do not deliver, um, like, broadly. So they, you can't, like, buy them from Cincinnati and have them shipped to you in your home city. They do DoorDash and Grubhub, though. So if you're local and you just don't feel like picking them up or walking over and grabbing them, um, they will deliver them. Um, but again, they're like four bucks a pop. Um, I think the price varies depending on which ones you get. But I'll be honest. I've come here before and I've gotten like six or seven or eight or twelve of varied variety. Um, and then eventually, the next time I came, I ended up just getting like six or seven of all these. Because <laughs> this is this is the one for me. They're all good, but this is my favorite one. So there you have it. That's Molly's Cupcakes. Um, so let's keep on cruising. I want to check out more of this outdoor mall. It's really cool here. There's a lot of things happening here. So let's move. Hey, look who decided to join the party. Finish getting your nails done? Let's show you. What do they look like? Ta-da! I have short little nubs, but it's fine. I got my toes <laughs> done, too. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see if I can get it on video. Your feet. So what, what color is that? What's that called? Ma uh, magenta Magic. Magenta <laughs> Magic. I don't know. Magic. That sounds, sounds cool. I have to get a dark color because when I go back to Florida, for some reason, when I get light colors, within like a week or and a half to two weeks, it's all like white. It turns it white. It bleaches it out, but the dark colors and don't do that. It's really strange. It's like white, but dirty too, like yeah. weird color. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not worth getting. <laughs> yeah. So I got something dark-ish. They have a Cooper's Hawk over there and something called the Roosevelt Room. I don't know what that is. I think people know what Cooper's Hawk is though. What's this place right here? What's Sandbox? Sandbox VR? Huh? What's that? That sounds cool. Huh. This is kind of a cool place. They have this. Check this out. Check out that dude. It's some sort of like, it's called Sandbox VR, but it's some sort of like VR experience where you put on like a suit. It's kind of cool. It looks like it's, um, like you put on like this wrist and ankle straps and like a helmet and like a, a suit so that it like can detect your emotions and where you're moving around. Um, and then you go into like this area that's all like 
do you have a VR headset on and you can actually walk around. Everybody has a gun and they're like yelling and screaming there and like shooting things and shooting each other. I don't know. But they're moving around. It's not like a stationary thing where you would like stand still and then do things. They're like walking around. I feel like like I would walk into a wall. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. I kind of want to try it. It sounds neat. I don't know. Sandbox VR. Check it out. Maybe it's online. Sandbox VR at Liberty Center in um, Westchester, Ohio. Sandbox VR. It looks pretty cool. I kind of want to check it out. But what's this place? Agave and Rye. Epic Tacos, Tequila, and Bourbon Hall. I don't know, but there's, you know what, I can, you can usually tell if a place is good by the number of people that are eating at it. There's a lot of people sit, sitting out there eating right now, so it must be pretty decent. Either that or there's no other good places to eat around here, but I don't think that's the case. They have like a lot of cool open spaces at this place, um, and this is actually, I know that they have live music here um, on like the weekends, evening, we, the weekends and the evenings, um, because I have been through here and there's been like uh, you know music and stuff playing. I don't know if they have like what kind of concerts, but it's kind of cool. It looks like you could probably hang out in this grassy area and there's seating over there. There's also this place called Kona Grill right here, which it looks like you could probably sit up there and even watch the concert um, and even grab some food and drink and stuff while you're at it. Same thing with over there. I guess you could sit on the patio seating. It's got it's a cool vibe here called the square right there. I want to walk up these stairs. I want to know what's up here. What is this? There's a lot of steps. I didn't video record all the steps because there was a lot of them. Whew, that was rough. Oh, there's some sort of like forest up here. I have to catch my breath. That was tough. That was a lot of walking up steps. I don't know what this forest is. It's like a, like, it's like a jungle. Now we're up here on this like second floor of this outdoor mall. This kind of neat, actually. I want to get a glimpse over the edge. Oh, watch out there. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, there's where we were. We were just down there. Now we're up here. Can you go into the forest? Oh man, it's blocked off. What's up with that? I mean, there's a path there. Why can't I go in? It goes all the way up in there. Oh well. What else do they got up here? So bridge. One of the things that I think is cool about this place is it has apartments. So this like outdoor mall has um, apartments. Kind of, what a cool place to kind of live. Like to be able to live in these little apartment buildings right here and then literally walk downstairs and you're at this awesome outdoor mall where you can like grab something to eat, go to the movie, grab a drink. You don't even have to get in your car. You can pretty much just like self-sustain, hang out in this, uh, this outdoor mall. You don't even have to leave unless you want to go to the groceries, but I guess you can get that delivered. That's kind of neat. I wonder how much those apartments are. I don't know what this is, but we're going back down. What's this little path right here? What am I doing with this? Am I supposed to follow this? Well, we're back down here. There's Molly's Cupcakes. So we basically made a circle. Nice. I mean, there was a lot of stuff I didn't really video because, I mean, it would, this would have been a three hour long video. They have something called It's Sugar. Looks like a giant candy shop. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of uh, any other candy shop, I guess. Bubble Tea Pastries. And I am very much not a fan of bubble tea or bubble tea pastries. What is that? Does that just mean they have bubble tea and pastries or does that mean there's a such a thing as a bubble bubble tea pastry? Either way, it doesn't sound good. It's just a pass for me. Pass for me. Anybody? No good. Well, I know down that direction there's a lot of restaurants and stuff. So there's like a cheesecake factory you can see. There's a pies and pints. Just like a pizza and drinks place. There's a Bibby Bop. It's kind of like an Asian Chipotle. Uh, I think there's like a Flipside Burger. I don't know if it's still there. There's a Starbucks. There's a lot of stuff down there. There's a lot of things. There's a Brio over there too. A lot of cool restaurants you can hang out at. 
And then, like I said, there's a lot of things inside of this inside mall. But I think we're going to skip going in there. Because, I don't know, I just I don't really feel like filming the inside of a mall. But it's nice in there. And there's a lot of shops. Well, that was a fun little side trip. Um, unexpected. Again, like she was getting her nails done. I was like, I don't know. What am I going to do? You know what? I'm going to do a video. And I'm going to record my favorite cupcake on the planet. Um, aside from my own, I will once again caveat that. Actually, agree. Aside from my own cupcakes that I personally make, it's the best um, of anywhere I've ever been. For whatever reason, we have decided to walk through Tornado Alley right here. Like all of a sudden, the wind is like crazy right here. It does feel good. We're in the shade now. Um, but I'm starting to get hot. But the wind feels good. So anyhow, apologize if it's like whoosh, 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 on the video. It is what it is. Um, it was fun. And you got your nails done. You like it? Are you good? You happy? Yeah. You like happy with your nails? Good. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining on this uh, us on this weird side trip episode. But you know, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And now you know why I'm always uh, disappointed with Disney's cupcakes. Um, but let me know if you have your favorite cupcakes or you have your favorite local cupcake place. Put it in the comments, let us know. I'd love to know. And if we're in the area, I'd love to try them. Um, heck, I'd even have them shipped to me if there's somewhere that ships them. So uh, thanks again for joining us. Until we see you tomorrow, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.